Um, we got Charmful with 20 bucks. Sam, Wise the Strong. What are you, what are your thoughts on David Foster Wallace? Did you finish Infinite Jest? How far did you get if you didn't finish it? I finished the first chapter, and um, I don't I don't think um, I can't imagine that I would would like his writing. I don't I don't like sensitive type dudes. He offed himself, right? He did, yeah. And I and I don't I don't mean to um, I I would never speak ill of the dead, and I don't think that um, it's uh, you should talk down on people who kill themselves, but um, I don't I don't think that I could find anything in common with someone that killed themselves. Yeah. Um, and I know I is it is he a sensitive dude? Sensitive dudes. <sighs> Like this, um, I don't know who David, I don't know anything about David Foster Wallace. I'm sure he's a cool guy and his writing's good or whatever, but this, um, like, when dudes are sensitive, it's just like, fans, you just, you just can't. Like, anybody, if I ever see a guy like this, where's the fucking picture, bitch? It's false advertising, open the uh, picture. Like, if I ever see a guy like this, Chris, you know, I can't Probably even make I can't even make bottle. a scowl like that. My my entire uh, is ethos the word characteristic spirit episodes of a culture. I mean my entire what's the version of ethos you could apply to a person? My whole steez is about um, being resolute and suffering through. Uh, to get the, the right thing made or accomplished. And when I've encountered guys like this who are like, even, the, even the, the slightest bit of commentary about your feelings. I think Shane Gillis says this. If you talk about your feelings as a man, you're gay. That sounds like something he would say. <laughs> it's 100% it's true. If you're, listen. <clears throat> This fucking, I'm sure this guy's talked about his feelings. Big Dog partnered up with <clears throat> We tra Transfer Hold on, Chris. That's what we did. I developed 12 new rest. I just never got it's along with my dad. I just, I just got an email. I just emailed my dad. I wrote back to him. I wrote, um, do you want to reconnect? And he wrote me back a fucking Reddit post. <laughs> a melodramatic, like the most unbelievable unbelievable reddit post <coughs> you've ever read i'll let you i'll let you read this because it's, it's funny it's chilling it's chilling and um this like it's actually it's actually unbelievable and like men who would take something like this and get upset about it for one second don't look through my camera roll but read that it's unbelievable that's from my fucking dad my, my email to him was, want to reconnect. Don't read it out loud. Just read it yourself so you know. Because that's, you're going to, it's chilling. It's chilling in, in because it's, um, because of how melodramatic and, uh, like, callous and weird it is. But I got that, and I just fucking went back to work. Um... The, the, the overuse of quotes also is really, uh... The use of fucking italics? Yeah. Did you get to that part yet? Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh... What do you think of that shit? Um... <clears throat> that's, uh... It's, it's, uh... It's cold in a way that's like, uh... It's like thought-out cold. I guess that's how I would describe it. Or can thought. you imagine... Can you imagine writing something like that to your child? No. Never. <clears throat> Isn't that fucking nuts? Unless, unless for whatever crazy reason, my child is some extreme, extremely abhorrent. It's because I owe him six thousand bucks. It's not, it's, <laughs> that's like money it, for most, you know, middle class or whatever families. That's like uh, helping out money. That's like, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'll help you. You know, that's like. That's something that would be dissolved, I think, between a family, you know, a no shit. Family, so. <clears throat> so the day that I the day that I got that is the day that I came back in and did the, I did uh, twelve rounds on the heavy bag, which is, as a man, what what you are as a man, and this is a there's a guy. We're getting into it here. 
There's this guy, <clears throat> David Data. Real name David Greenblatt. And what he does is he's got a bunch of um, David Greenberg. And what he has in his books, and I wouldn't read all his books, and I damn sure wouldn't take everything that he has to say as gospel, but what he does in Way of the Superior Man is he takes a bunch of red pill, masculist stuff and couches it in an Eastern sort of woo-woo framework so that it's palatable to regular people. So it's like I'm not being a, it's not like you gotta be a Chad. It's like you have to ride out the wave, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And what he talks about, the most um, striking thing in this book that I read was he's talking about the nature of um, men, women, and just existence. And what a man is essentially, like spiritually, holistically, a man is a ship that is out to sea. The sea is the chaos, the sea is the world. This is why, uh, this is why women shit test you, is because women are like the ocean. Women's, and their, their job is to give you these shit tests to make sure that you are um, aloof, that you are <clears throat> sealed off enough that these shit tests, so that the, the, so that the, the dangerous, scary, chaotic, um, uncertain world around you won't phase you. That's why women shit test essentially. To check you, to check and make sure that your ship, that your manhood is steadfast, that you keep, you keep charging on. Um, so my whole thing is just to, no matter what, how bad the bad news is, or no matter how good the good news is, that's the other thing, is getting up high is also very dangerous. So I, I really try not to in these moments where we're like wrapping Fish Tank Season 1 or whatever or wrapping the shoot for World Peace 2. I try to enjoy it for, you know, an hour and a half or whatever. But <clears throat> it's, uh, it's like, it's almost, it's kind of akin to resting on your laurels. Um, it's, it's, it's like a cousin to that. But if you get too high up, uh, if you get too high up, you're going to get in my experience, you're gonna get knocked down pretty bad. And that's when, like in high school in my early 20s, when I was feeling the most sort of high up, that's when the worst shit happened because I wasn't paying attention to, um, I was the most vulnerable to external um, <clears throat> stuff going wrong. So when I see, I don't, I've never read David Foster Wallace, okay? But it, it, did he kill himself? Did he kill himself because he was such a sensitive, poetic, feeling man that he couldn't take the, um, <clears throat> the, the pain and hypocrisy and, and difficulty of living anymore? If that's the case, I don't want to read his shit. Yeah. Because I'm fucking here. I have people that uh, rely upon me, and I'm not into listening to somebody complain. I'm probably wrong about his... I don't. I, I know nothing about his literature. I'm sorry if you're a, a David Foster Wallace fan. This guy right here. I mean, this guy's probably. What's he crying? Because his dad died. He's at a. Fo he's at a soccer game. Or is he crying because he just saw something? Yeah, he's at a soccer game. You know. <laughs> soccer. So who knows? Honestly, it looks more like he just smelled something pretty nasty. <laughs> like his buddy's <clears throat> in the car, closed windows, and just ripped some ass. That's mm -hmm. what it looks more like. I just look at that face and I get that kind of. Uh, I can't eat now kind of face. Dry even. Yep. Okay. Uh, we got Doofus Dan with 20 bucks. Met a girl on Hinge, got her number, and she immediately starts talking about her, how her ex abused her. It's so over. Red flag much? And by the way, guys, these sensitive men are dangerous. That's also the case. Did you know that? Yeah, uh, I can't remember an instance of that, but I... Uh, These I, little fuckers will, first of all, um, beta, beta male rapist vibes. You ever catch that off anybody? Like like they can't get pussy, so they're... The way, that, the way they get pussy is by like texting 1,000 times. Pesterer type Pestering, of thing? Pestering, guilt. They make women feel, they make, they like basically guilt women into sex. Feminize like themselves that. to try to get closer. Get the the beta, like men like this, like sensitive beta males, the way they get pussy is they get pussy in like a feminine, a feminine way. Yeah. It's really fucked up. Um, it's I've, seen, I've seen instances of that 
many times. These are the these are the guys that will they'll they'll fold, they'll turn on you, they'll gossip about you, they'll talk shit about you behind your back. One of the craziest things is um, when whenever some oh, this doesn't really happen so much anymore. But back in the day, I remember giving people gigs like here's an editing gig or whatever, and then you'd see some like 4chan post. Someone would send you a 4chan post that's like uh, some guy talking. It's like. I have insider access to the core workings of MDE. I know Sam and Nick and Charles personally, and I have a lot of information about what it's like to work with them. And like we can, sometimes we can pick up and tell like who it is. Yeah. And it's like someone that like, like, Char like Charles, someone that Charles doesn't even know, someone that Nick talked to once, and someone that I paid like two hundred and fifty dollars to to do some fucking like thing. Yeah. But these beta males, get them out of your circle, man. They're dangerous. They're, these are dangerous people. They'll fold on you. They'll gossip. They got severe beta male rapist energy. And the way that they maneuver, maneuver through life is in a feminine, a feminine way that it's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck up your shit somehow. And if, if this is you, fix it. Fix your T levels. Start lifting. Do what you got to do. Read that way of the superior man. Read A Fire in the Belly. It's another masculist book that you should read um, fire in the belly but fix your shit if this is you stop with this kitty cat I'm kitty cat man it's me kitty cat man if the, if it was dude if this was uh, if there were no if it was anarchy Chris mm -hmm. if it was anarchy and it was like I had to actually be on the lookout for stuff and like we were we had to like protect our shit yeah if I saw kitty cat man out walking around out there I'd go hit him with a hammer yeah and like take his skin off to let other kitty cat men know that that's not welcome around here. Yeah. It's like uh, <clears throat> these guys will these yeah, guys will throw yeah, a yeah. wrench in your shit. They'll yeah. fuck you. They get in your business. They'll fuck you. They'll fuck you. Yeah. They do. They do <clears throat> get in your business. <clears throat> Type of guy to slash your tires because you're going from a douchebag. Yeah. Um, that is something that you got to worry about with sensitive men too. Is they'll get pissed on the drop of a dime and do some stupid shit like that. Yeah, they, they do also, uh, not to harp on it too much, but men who have the emotional sort of, the, the, capa the ability to uh, uh, con keep control of their emotions like a woman does. I just, I just fired somebody today and I sent him uh, $1,500. I, s somebody, I fired somebody for doing something that um, resulted in, it was like a zero positive result for us. It got us nothing. And I sent him 1500 so that he, he didn't feel bad about the situation yeah and it, i had a fucking i had to sit listen to his feelings for 20 minutes he's talking about how he feels like that's really not a fair number and he wanted five thousand i was like dude there's no fucking way like you did zero dollars worth of work i'm not sending you five thousand i'll send you another fifteen hundred if 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 we can end this phone call and make it cool and smooth it over i'll send you another fifteen hundred and he was like well i gotta be honest with you it, then it will be hard feelings and that's generous for i was just like that's that's i, I I will, I will put, I, I'm extremely generous, man. Yeah. I loan, I give money to people yeah. often. I'm not going to say who or the specifics of it, but like this kid, I was, I, I was ready to give him 3000 just to smooth things over and make him not feel burned by us. And he's like, well, then I have to be honest, it would be hard feelings. I was just like, fuck you. And I'm not going yeah. <clears throat> and especially for client work like that, giving yeah. giving like a, a severance like that for a, a single client work job is uh, <clears throat> I've never even heard of that. That's, that's, that's generous. So. That's, you gotta get that's the charity levels are generous. Get yeah. control over your emotions. This yeah. the men acting like women. You gotta stop. You gotta ch get your T levels checked. Read some fucking books. <clears throat> lift some weights. Do something, man. Yeah. Stop eating. Stop eating. Um, yeah, start wearing <laughs> sandy pads. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's move on from this topic. Uh, check out Hobo Joe 421 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big Smitty, thank you for the recommendations out here. Free Alpha.